You have noticed that the symmetry tool is super handy to create easy shapes, but Procreate has another awesome feature. You can create quick shapes. And to do that, let's make a new layer on top of this one, on top of the head layer. Let's tap the plus. And for the color, let me grab this one over here, the fourth color in the second row. And first, let me demonstrate the quick shape tool. The quick shape tool will get activated once you hold your pen on your screen for a certain amount of time. For instance, if you make a line and if you hold it, it'll snap to a quick line. This also works with shapes. For instance, if you would make a square, hold it, it'll snap to a square shape. And that also works with triangles and lots of other shapes as well. For instance, circles. We are going to make a circle for the eye. Now I want them both to be the same size. So let's go to the layer menu and turn on symmetry here. Let's tap it and then turn on drawing assist. Now let me make the brush a little bit smaller. Let's set it to 20% and then let's draw a circle like this. Hold your pen in place. I can see that you can make it bigger and smaller and you can tap one finger on the screen to make it snap to a perfectly round circle. Now let's place it like this. And here at the top, you can also tap circle and then you can adjust it. You can also use these handles to make it more like an oval, make it bigger, smaller. We don't need that in this case. So let's tap it again and then let's drag in the color like this. Then we'll make a new layer for the pupils. So let's go to the layer menu. Let's tap the plus. Again, we will need drawing assist. So tap the layer, turn on drawing assist. And then for the color, we will grab this one over here, the first color in the second row. And again, we will draw a circle. So just draw a circle, hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen to make it snap to a perfectly round circle and then let go. I want to move it a little bit, so let's go to circle. And then while you have your pen on the outside, you can move it around a bit like this. And let's place it over here. Then drag in a color to fill these shapes. Now another way to manipulate these shapes, to move them around or to make them smaller and bigger is by going to the move and transform tool. That's the little arrow up here. And that way you can move and transform anything that is on one layer. So in this case, that's the two pupils. Now, when you have it set to uniform, you can change the size without it losing the ratio. If you would go to free form, you can do the same, but then you can lose the ratio and you can make it look really weird. You can also use distort, distorting everything however you please, or use warp and warp whatever is on your layer. Of course, you can also flip whatever is on the layer, flip it horizontal or flip it vertical. Or if you don't like anything you have done here, then you can just tap reset and have it back to normal. I already like the way it looks, so let's tap the arrow again to get out of this menu. Now let's continue working on our tiger. Let's go to the face layer and add a new layer on top by tapping the plus. And let's turn on the symmetry tool here. We'll tap the layer, turn on drawing assist, and let's work on its nose. Now for the color, we'll grab this first color in the first row. And let's make the brush a little bit smaller. Let's set it to 5%. And let's create its nose. We'll just follow the line like this and drag in the color. Then for the stripes, let's create this one. Follow that line, drag in the color to fill it. Then for this one, drag in the color. And for these, I don't want to use the symmetry tool. I want them to be a little bit more varied. So let's go to the layer, tap it and turn off drawing assist. Then let's go to this area and follow these shapes. Let's follow the lines. 
If your lines get a little bit wobbly, then you could turn up the streamline if you like. And we this one and this one. Now we are going to fill these shapes and let me show you another trick when you fill your shapes. Let's drag it in and then tap continue filling at the top. Then you can just tap in these areas to fill those as well. Then let's move on. Let's create the little teeth. I want that area to be a little bit more textured. So we are going to move to a different brush. Using textured brushes in your artwork can really add character to it. We are going to use the dry fine liner brush. Just like the smooth lines and tapered lines brush, this is part of my illustration brush pack. And for the color, we are going to use this one over here, the fourth color in the second row. And since we have two teeth, they are symmetrical. We are going to use the symmetry tool again. So go back to the layer, tap it and use drawing assist. Then the opacity of this brush is at a hundred percent and the size is at 10%. Let me save that. And then draw the teeth like this, fill it in. Then we'll switch. Our color will switch back to the first color in the first row. And then we'll create that mouth. Go down through the center and then back up here. And we'll create these three little dots. Then for even more texture, let's grab this brush, the rough round brush, part of my chalk brush pack. We are going to add these cute little cheeks. We'll use this color for that, the fourth color in the first row. Now the opacity of this brush is at 100%. And the size is at 25%. Now let's make these rounded shapes inside of that circle. And it has a nice rough little outline. We are going to use the same brush for the eye area and for its mouth area. Let's grab a different color. This one over here, third color in the first row. But I don't want it to go over those stripes. So what we need to do is create a new layer underneath these lines and on top of this face. So let's tap the plus here. Let's set it to drawing assist. And then let's add some more texture. I just go along that outer edge for a nice textured look. Then also here for its nose. Over here, making rounded motions. And for its chin. And when you go to your layer menu and when you turn off the line art layer, you can see that it has this nice texture. 